Hey there, viewers. Have you been sweating away like crazy? Has it been happening in cooler temperatures? How frequent is it? Sweating is often a sign that something's wrong. This includes possible health problems. Let's talk today about six reasons why you're sweating all the time. Are you feeling stressed out? How about nervous? Is your diet causing you to sweat? Wait, is it possible you have a thyroid problem? We're talking about all that and more. Number one, diet. Hardcore sweating is oftentimes a response to the food you've been eating. Let's talk about gustatory sweating for a second. Also known as phrase syndrome, gustatory sweating is the sweating you do after you eat. You'll often notice a person's forehead dripping as they chow down. Well, not only does the sweat happen on your forehead, you'll also get it on your face, scalp, and neck. After a while, your whole body feels like a waterfall. Gustatory sweat will normally happen after you eat a spicy meal. We've all had that feeling after downing a pound of hot wings, not to mention the need to run to the bathroom. It feels like someone poured a pitcher of water onto your head. This type of sweat is normally a reaction to really intense spice. Some react easier than others. In more extreme cases, this sweating can be brought on by nerve damage. The nerve in question is the parotid gland, which is located in both cheeks. Your parotid glands help you produce saliva, which assists you when it comes to chewing, swallowing, and digesting. It usually becomes damaged after some sort of surgery or trauma. If the damage is severe, your gland will become confused and cause you to start sweating. There's also the meat sweats we need to mention. When you eat meat, your body spends more time than usual breaking it down. This energy causes heat. Depending on your body, the heat may cause you to start sweating, but this case seems to be rare for most people. What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? What was your reaction? Did you sweat like crazy? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, medications. Have you recently been prescribed something for a medical condition? Well, don't be surprised if you start sweating out of nowhere. If you've been suffering from a specific illness, beware of the meds your doctor gives you. Have you ever heard of diaphoresis? This is a really scientific word used to describe excessive sweating brought on by certain drugs. This type of sweating usually happens due to changes in your blood sugar. So what medications cause this? Usually things like antidepressants can really bring on the sweats. There are also physical painkillers and migraine medications. The wrong illness can contribute to the sweating, so be careful. Cancer, fever, and infection are only a few of them. There's also another sickness that can induce sweating, but we need to talk about that separately. Number three, diabetes. If you or someone you know has diabetes, you'd know it's not an easy journey by any means. This is a disease that's only becoming more common. The number of people with diabetes rose from 108 million in 1980 to 422 million in 2014. This includes people who don't even realize they have it. One of the signs a person can look out for is excessive sweating. Remember a moment ago when I talked about nerve damage? Well, diabetes can cause some of this damage. Studies show that over half of diabetes patients suffer from some sort of neuropathy. This affects your body's glands. One of these important glands is the one that controls sweat. It's like a switch that's pulled. With diabetes, the sweat gland is always turned on. This causes your sweat to pour out in the most sudden situations. You also have your body temperature to think about. Diabetes makes it harder for your body to control its temperature. As a result, your body is unable to maintain the right amount of sweat to keep you cool. If you've been diagnosed with diabetes and you find yourself sweating bullets, talk to your doctor right away. All this talk about health is enough to get you pretty stressed out. And that brings me to my next point. But before we continue, do you suffer from diabetes? How about a loved one? If so, you'd know that diet is everything. Check out our recent video on the 13 diabetic-friendly comfort foods. Now back to our discussion on six reasons why you're sweating more. Number four, stress. Your mental health plays a huge factor in the amount of sweat that comes out of your body. It's called stress sweat. With stress sweat, you can start sweating in the most random situations. It all depends on just how worked up you are in the moment. Not only does your forehead start beating, you can also get sweat underneath your armpits. I talk about body odor, but I think that's a conversation for a whole different video. Here's how it happens. Stress is the body's natural response to something your brain perceives as a threat. When your brain feels an attack coming on, an adrenaline rush will be triggered. There's also stress hormones. Let's talk about cortisol for a second. Cortisol is the scientific term for your body's natural stress hormone. It increases sugars in your bloodstream, enhances your brain's use of glucose, and activates substances that help repair all your tissues. 
When you're stressed, cortisol will be produced. Your heart rate will also increase. In order to cool your body down and balance your level of electrolytes and fluids, you begin to sweat. At the same time, your skin also has a chance to rehydrate. So if you're feeling anxious, don't be surprised if you get really intense sweats. Number five, physical exercise. This one should be pretty obvious. If you're working out really hard, you're gonna start sweating pretty hard. All you need is for your heart to start pumping really intensely. Let's talk about your sweat glands for a second. Your body has between two to four million sweat glands, most of which are eccrine glands. These glands cover most of your body, mainly found on your palms, forehead, armpits, and soles. During exercise or any kind of physical activity, your nerves signal your eccrine glands to release sweat. From here, your body will begin to cool down. While sweating during a workout is normal, there's also excessive sweating, which is a sign of something a little more serious. Let's talk about hyperhidrosis. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drop any more big scientific words on you. That one took me a while to learn. Hyperhidrosis is a term for excessive sweating. There are over 5 million Americans with this condition. It happens when the nerve that controls sweat is a little too sensitive, causing you to sweat in random situations. If you're one of those people who starts sweating for little to no reason, think about just how much you'd sweat after a couple minutes of push-ups. Now, there are also people who don't sweat at all during physical activity. This is normally a sign of dehydration. If you're in the middle of a really intense workout and you're still not breaking a sweat, you need to drink water ASAP. Your body is lacking fluids. How you made it that far into your workout is beyond me. Moving on. Number six, thyroid problems. Are you familiar with the thyroid gland? I'm asking because until very recently, I wasn't even thinking about it. Your thyroid gland is that butterfly-shaped organ found in the base of your neck. It's supposed to release hormones that control energy and metabolism. One of the side effects of a bad thyroid is extreme sweat. Let's talk about hyperthyroidism for a second. Hyperthyroidism is when the thyroid gland produces way too much of the hormone thyroxin. This can bring on unintentional weight loss as well as heart trouble. If you're suffering from hyperthyroidism, one of the first signs will be excessive sweating. You see, your thyroid gland regulates your body's temperature. With hyperthyroidism, you experience oversensitivity to heat. It's like your body is always feeling hot. This is due to your thyroid producing way more hormones than your body needs. As a result, your temperature shoots up. Other symptoms of a thyroid condition include anxiety, nervousness, rapid heartbeat, hand tremors, and difficulty sleeping. So you should look out for those if you're sweating more than usual. Sweating is very important. It says so much about the current state of your health. Are you trying to sweat more? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more sweat-related videos, shall we? Check out 16 cardio exercises you can do if you hate running. Or how about which is better for your weight loss, cardio or weights? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about the right workouts. Are any of these conditions making you sweat like crazy? Let us know in the comments below.